Card Runner. This video is going to go through a more detailed explanation of how the DeWalt 3835 works. And it's also going to show how you can set it up and, and also get it started and some of the uh, correct maintenance procedures for the DeWalt 3835. So the first thing to remember is that the point of the pressure washer is to take garden hose pressure that goes into the machine here and to transfer it to a very high pressure that goes to our gun. Now the way that that works is that the water goes into the pump and the pump is driven by the motor and the motor transfers that pressure from garden pressure to the high pressure. So the first thing to do on these is to, um, before you set it up, is to bleed the air out of the line of the garden hose because when you have 25 or 50 feet of garden hose what happens you got a lot of air in there and what you don't want to do is connect this up immediately and have all this air going right into your pump so uh, what I'm going to do now is run over and turn on the garden hose and I'm going to flush out all the air once I flush the air out I'm going to come back and tighten this up and that'll get us started water coming out now it's a good steady stream uh, there's not a lot of air in this hose because I use it all the time. So this is what the water should be looking like before you put it into the pressure washer. Now I'm going to turn the pressure wa the water off and we're going to put it on. Okay. Now that we have the water out of the now that we have the air out of the uh, water hose, we can connect the water hose to our pressure washer. What you're going to need to do that is you're really going to need a couple wrenches. And the reason for that is on these fittings over here, it's really hard to get a really tight fit without, um, without a couple wrenches. And if they're loose, then obviously water is going to go all over the place. And it seems to me that no matter how tight I get these things, they always seem to leak anyway. And so what I end up doing is put a little towel over the fitting just so the water doesn't leak everywhere. So what I'm going to do is connect this up right here and that'll get us started on putting this pressure washer together. And so what I usually do is I usually have a, uh, a crescent wrench or a, a pipe wrench and what I can do is uh, tighten these things up. So in this case what I'm going to do is just do it by hand first and if I wanted to, I could take this wrench here and back it up, and I could get a really tight fit on it. So let's suppose that we do that and get these wrenches adjusted. And then, uh, there we go. So I backed it up, and I got a pretty tight fit on the, on, the, on the water now. So now we've got water coming in, and what we need to do now is set up uh, the place for our water to go out. Now the water comes out on a high pressure hose. Now these high pressure hoses uh, generally have uh, quick connect fittings on them. This one here is a 3 8 inch male plug. The male is going to go into the female connectors. And this is a spring loaded female connector. So what I'm going to do now is take the steel plug and I'm going to insert that into the female quick connect. And I just heard it lock in there. You know it's very important to make sure you have a good fitting on here or a really good tight uh, fit because when you're in operation the last thing you want these to do is to explode apart which is done for me and it's pretty dangerous when it does that so now I've got the high pressure hose and now the next thing to do is to connect it up to one of our pressure washing lances now when you get these machines a lot of times these machines have a, uh, a basic uh, wand on them and a lot of them come apart like this. They ship them like this to save space. And what you need to do then is you need to connect it together. Now for our operations, I generally don't really like this configuration because there's just a lot of parts here. And I like to have one solid piece. And what I recommend is having a nice solid gun here where there's really no connections in between and there's really no quick connect fittings where the blast head is... is uh, threaded directly onto the, uh, the quarter inch lance here. Now in this case, if you wanted to run it this way, obviously you'd have to use a quick connect 
on your blast head to connect the two together like this because uh, a lot of times when these uh, lances ship from the factory they use a thread lock tightener on here and you can't really get these quick connects off very easily so that prohibits the use of a direct connect and you have to use this otherwise you'll just have to get a separate gun which I recommend and if you do do it this way remember to keep the orientation of the blast head up you don't want it to fall down this way otherwise water is going to go through here and clog it up so if you use it this way be sure and use a quick uh, a tie a plastic tie to, to keep the hose on it like this so the media is flowing in so for this example here we're not going to use this configuration we're going to use the more um, safer more uh, professional uh, tool here and what we're going to do now is we're going to take our high pressure hose and we're going to connect it up to our gun here using the uh, the three inch quick connect and the three inch plug and so once I connect that up I basically have a system that's ready to go so I've got water going in I can have water going out and all I need to do now is to start up the motor so why don't we do that next Thank you.